Cumpleaños feliz Maligaya, maligaya Maligaya ang bati Got another collection, so I hit my 40th country in the country. Welcome to San Marino! Good morning! So we're off to my number 40th country in the counter. So we're going to San Marino from Ancona. So we're gonna ride a bus heading to Rimini. So it's a town next to San Marino. And it will gonna take us like around two hours, two and a half hours bus ride going there. Um, stay tuned with us as we discover the smallest microstate in the world, the smallest republic and the oldest republic in the world, San Marino. Guys, we finally arrived here in Rimini, and guess what? I forgot my passport. <laughs> my goodness. So, um,. I don't know. Let's see. So I brought my expired passport. So anyway, the bus accepted my passport. And let's see if I can go through San Marino with an expired passport. So, you know, it's my bad. You know, I really, I totally forgot about my new passport. So I brought only my expired passport. So let's see. And we're um, trying to catch a bus going to Rimini Center and heading towards San Marino. So it will take us like around, let's say around 40 minutes and we're going to see San Marino. Stay tuned if I will be able to get through San Marino. <laughs> bus ride <laughs> we didn't pay actually but because we missed our bus so we're off for a coffee first <laughs> the bus going to San, to San Marino has left already <laughs> so you have to wait for an hour <laughs> just a stop over to have, for, to have just coffee for looks like the Philippines uh, uh, ano, ano, just a little bit cold I think it's a Philippines Pagay Thai Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Coffee time. <laughs> so, we're finally here in the bus station. But we never realized that you need to have cash in order for you to purchase tickets from Rimini going to San Marino. So we have to run to the nearest uh, ATM machine. A good thing that it's just around the corner in Rimini Station, railway station. So uh, we just got lucky and we're almost um, we're almost there. <laughs> so we're going inside the bus now, heading to San Marino. 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 Uh, I can only see my head, forehead. Marino. <laughs> We 
finally arrived here in San Marino. So actually, I'm nervous at first because I brought an expired passport, but here I am. <laughs> I'm inside San Marino already, so I'm safe. <laughs> Amazing, so funny. So it's time for us to eat now. Okay. So the what I'm eating is called the pedina. So this is like a typical Samarinese food. Made of flat Italian bread with filling. So it shows like salami. Mm. And then carbonara, lasagna, carbonara. So we're here um, today in one of the smallest microstate and the oldest republic here in Europe and the whole world. So this one is sitting on top of Mount Tidal. So um, this one is 61 square kilometers big. So the area is pretty much small. And this one, this one is just surrounded by the neighboring countries of the whole of Italy. So this is the only country or republic that's surrounded by Italy. And um, one of the observations that I, I've, I've seen here in San Marino is that it's so cheap. I was even expecting that it's cheap in here because you know most of the smallest countries in the world or most of the smallest countries I've been to are really expensive. So I was very happy and I was very surprised to know that everything here is so cheap. And um, pretty much amazed at how this city is being built and most are well preserved and no wonder that this one is part of UNESCO Heritage Site since 2008 we applied it in Quebec, Canada. Um, join us as we find out more about this small, uh, small republic and we're gonna share to you what adventure awaits for you here when you decide to go here in San Marino. Here in San Marino, the most interesting thing that you can do here is have your passport being stamped here in the tourism office so you've got a souvenir so it only costs like five euros so my good friends are gonna have their passport stamped but mine because you know it's expired so I'm not gonna avail that so I'm just gonna take a video of their experience oh mm -hmm. I lost it ah <laughs> what <laughs> oh my god the stamp was lost <laughs> wow, amazing. That's me. We're also in San Marino. So, um, a piece of information for you guys that this one is also um, people from, from San Marino um, are really good in crossbow shooting. So, um, during the ancient times or during the medieval times, they held tournaments for cross crossbow tournaments in here, and it's happening in the Pianel. Pianel or in the main town square um, normally during um, special celebrations like um, the feast day of um, San Marino during the, the, during the month of September and if there are a lot of visitors who's coming in San Marino for the first time so they do hold crossbow tournaments in here and this is the Cava del Palisario is one of them so now we're heading towards Palacio Publico this is where the seat of San Marino is located and it's in the heart of 
San Marino. So we'll let you see how it looks like inside because that's where one of the most um, important um, artifacts and one of the most important things that this um, city holds. So guys, now we're currently here in one of the towers here in San Marino. So in San Marino, there are like three towers which are very, very important because it formed the defense of the nation. So as you can see here in the flag, you will see three towers in there. Yeah, one, two, three. So there are three towers in here. One is the Giata Tower, the first tower. And then the second one is the Sesta. This is the second tower. And then the first, the third one is the Montale Tower. So we're gonna try to like explore three of them, which shows the panoramic view of this city. Yep. Welcome to San Marino. Wow. <laughs> what is that? Here in Giata Tower, so the first tower, um, there are a lot of um, areas here wherein you can see a um, areas here where you can have an opportunity to um, have very nice um, photos because you know you can see the whole panorama of the city and the Apennine mountains so it's just really surrounded by Italy this small um, microstate republic and it's sitting on top of Mount Titano so we're really on the highest one of the highest um, mountains here in Italy which is Mount Titano and you know the up view here is just awesome. So we're now approaching the second tower. This is the Torre Torre de la Sesta. So this is the second tower. It was built like um, around 8th century and it's um, like a prison cell before. And most of the armories and uh, most of the um, defense um, areas of um, San Marino is really um, centered to these three towers so you will see from afar from this second tower is you can see the montale tower no. that's the third tower how does it feel like after walking past two towers huh easy what <laughs> So after a long walk, we finally arrive here on the third tower, the Tower of Montale. So this is the smallest tower among the three. And let's see. Look! look. You can see it. It's really nice here actually, but the thing is safety at your own risk. That's the only downside here because okay. it's very no, it's very dangerous okay. actually. There's no barricade, nothing to like really keep you safe. No, it depends so, on how far you're going. But yeah, but the thing it's quite safe, but the thing is, you know, mostly at least, you know, there's no barricade or nothing. God. After a tiring day, it's time to eat in San Marino. Taco? Chori? Capriza Hilma? Okay, grazie. So we're almost done with our excursion here and our adventure here in San Marino.
Thank you so much for joining our adventures here in San Marino. Hope you enjoyed journeying with us in this smallest microstate republic here in Italy. And if we made this adventure exciting and memorable, it can be our adventures as well. See you!